then back to general aspects of the law and an area that uh, may be problematic and that is is this really illegal or is it just annoying even if it's not illegal um, if we're eh, more into the realm of, of injury uh, into you know civil lawsuits um, is is this something that is actually morally wrong or is it something that we just would rather we didn't have to deal with like the existence of competitors you know this is a, a you know free and open market uh, a lot of people who stress the open market want an open market as long as they're the only ones in the market they're the only vendor they're the only real game in town um, they want an open market as long as uh, you know they've they've got the market um, and competition which is in reality the openness of the market is an annoyance it's a nuisance it's it's a problem it's trouble um so you've got to be careful when you are looking to the law to solve what you see as a problem for you you know is this really illegal um, so as I, I mean we've got quite a list here that we could look at um, hackers now the automatic reaction to most from most people is that hackers are bad hackers are you know people who attack who uh, get into your computer who try to do something wrong who try to steal information whatever it is I mean really hackers um, the the origin of the term anyways is someone who is good with the technology who can make the technology do things that perhaps most other people can't do can't make the technology do they are not don't have as much facility with the technology and so you know is this an issue that you are frustrated that somebody is able to do something with the technology that you didn't think was possible um, you know or is it really an injury to you now um, people who break into computers they never think they're doing anything wrong we'll talk more about this when we get into ethics um, and and you know all the justifications that they have uh, to say you know we're not doing anything wrong we you know and and particularly if you wanted us to stay out of your computer why did you make it so easy for people to break into it now to a certain extent yes that is a facile justification for them but at the same time there is a point to be made there you know are you annoyed that somebody has walked into the open loading bay door that you left wide open while you were uh, you know putting secure locks and everything on the front door or have they in fact done something illegal in, in terms of an intrusion into uh, your enterprise which you have tried your level best to secure so um, we, we need to, to look at things that way. Now, uh, you know, so it's not just the uh, 
lack of agreement on the definition of what a hacker is, but, um, you know, is, uh, you know, have we really got a justification for feeling injured when someone has intruded if, in fact, we have not made it sufficiently difficult uh, for intruders to get in? Uh, we talk about crackers. Crackers are, you know, that's pretty much illegal. Eh? Basically, the definition right from the get-go of, of crackers is people who wanted to uh, use uh, games particularly, but other software, without uh, license or justification. Uh, people who uh, wanted to get a copy of the software for themselves uh, for free without, you know, paying the going rate for it. Um, so, yeah, you know, that's, that's illegal. Uh, but, you know, as, as we've talked about, you know, competitors, you know, if, if you make a word processor and somebody else makes a better word processor and they start taking market share away from you, you know, is that illegal? Is there uh, an intellectual property problem there and uh, uh, the garbage can wars between Apple and uh, uh, Microsoft uh, with the Mac with its uh, sorry I, I have little enough sympathy for this that I don't know whose term is what you know garbage can recycling can whatever um, that is used and in the end i mean you know sort of you're both wrong it was the xerox system that first implemented this as a delete device um so you know uh is it really um intellectual property uh that we are arguing about or is it uh you know trying to make trouble for a competitor in terms of market share. Um, uh, there, you know, we have various allies in things, uh, but we have competitors as, as well. And of course, in terms of getting intelligence on your uh, competitors. And um, there, there was a, an exercise that we went through in the old days um, in terms of uh, uh, you know, where do you draw the line? What is legitimate business intelligence? And, and what gets to the point of being illegal? Um, and in fact, we stole that from uh, a business intelligence uh, organization. Well, we didn't steal it. We got permission to use it. And, and we only used a, a part of what they, they listed. I think we had a... Uh, 20 point scale and their original was like uh, 35 uh, so um, and then there's there's hacktivism and, and certainly a, a lot of people find ha hacktivists you know those who for specific uh, purposes which they see as good and valid um, are doing things that are pretty close to the line of illegality um, breaking into things, doing doxing, finding information and, and publishing that. Um, so, uh, you know, all of these things, all of these possibilities we have to look at as, you know, is this really illegal or is it just a nuisance to us? <laughs>